the Portsmouth Community Watch Foundation presents a program Pakite Kualte Dominic Mo. Last year we had a, a program of head tie, different head ties, different head ties of different ways, what they meant, different meanings, and it was very well accepted by the public. So this year we decided to do something different where we decided that we don't want our culture to die. So we have a group of people in different fields, different walks of life, where they're making it happen, really making it happen in our culture. So we have here today Miss, Mrs. Joan Connor. She's a seamstress and I'm very proud of her. So I really have her here today to say something to the public and to encourage young people especially that they should not let our culture die. I would really like it to be passed on. So I would, I would like to have Miss Joan to introduce herself. Um, Joan Connor from Lago. Um, I do vending and um, sewing, especially around the independence season. I do my my uh, sewing, not making national ways and little outfit for national for the national. Um, to be national viewer. I would like to know what, how, how did you decide to get involved in this field? I decided to get in this field when I was interested in sewing. Then Mrs. Aaron, Imelda Aaron, introduced um, a sewing, sewing class session for free. Okay. So she had already done a batch of children then, a batch of people when I get to know that she has had it going on, so I tell her I am interested. So she said, the other set, she called me. So then she called me. So we did the main things like shirts and skirts, and then we went to Creole wear. But before, I used to do little things like little bags with my dress and little brooch and so on. And try to get them so do hats, put bows with my dress around hats, and try to get them so long the independent season. But then when she, during the class, she showed us the real thing with the Creole way to do the jeep and the blouses, different blouses and so. So then, after she teaches, us, I decide that I'm going out to make a living from it. That's good. And uh, from there I started. Okay. I must comment Mrs. Aaron, even as we speak, she teaches the young children to um, dance quadrille and still pan. My granddaughter is involved in it and I'm very proud. So hats out to Mrs. Aaron, I'm very proud of you. <coughs> and um, we, we, we want to see more people like that in our community. Keep the fire burning, don't let it die. How does your decision impact the, uh, your community? My decision? No. So in the Creole way, so, yeah. choosing to so the Creole way and coming out during the independence season to vend mm -hmm. has a very um, positive impact on the community because um, people come and they comment and say, I waiting for you to see you because I know once I see you, I know independent coming and uh, is that that making Postmark look lively when we pass and we see you and we looking out to see what you have and so it really have a positive impact on so your skill is a demand? Yes. Do you think that the schools are doing enough to train the, the, the students in that area? I do, I will, I'll say no, they're not doing enough because before, years gone by, after exam or after test, they would have different people coming into the school and show the different, the children, different things, certain little things they could get to do. Mm -hmm. So they're not doing that anymore. Which I find they, they should be doing it now, especially <coughs> as the 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 we saw we have about our culture now and they doesn't be interested. They could introduce certain little things 
like um, in arts and crafts, calling um, people, one or two people, you know, who can do those things like this, the brooches, mm -hmm. scarves, or simple little things and get them to make, to, to learn how to make those things. Yeah. And then gradually you introduce everything to them one by one until they get the true meaning of it. And then knowing that they can get involved themselves with their hand and do it, they'll be more interested. I, I remember when I was going to school, there were a teacher that would say, he is not academically inclined, but you can teach him a skill and he could have a living on it. Yes. That was that was very yes. important at that time. But now I don't understand what is really going on because I see your tree, you have uh, lots of different things. Yes. I mean, on the um, crucial booth, you have dolls, you have all kinds of things. Yeah. And because of your involvement, that uh, make you reach that far. Yes. You know, so I, that's why I really admire what you do. 